Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look to the steps to upgrade Windows 8.1 to Windows 11 without losing your files. Although Microsoft supports many ways to upgrade to Windows 11, the options are mostly available for devices running Windows 10. If you're among those who still have a computer running Windows 8 or 8.1, the options are limited, but you can perform a clean installation or you can mount the ISO file to run the setup to do the upgrade preserving your files. In this lesson we're going to use the ISO file to upgrade. Also, before proceeding, you have to make sure that your computer meets the minimum requirements. For example, the computer must have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, and a dual core or better Intel 8th generation processor or an AMD Zen 2 or newer processor. In addition, the device must have a UEF5 firmware with secure boot enable and TPM 2.0 also enabled. If your computer does not meet the minimum requirements, Windows 11 will refuse to install. If you are not sure about the hardware compatibility, the setup will let you know during the installation. Microsoft also has a PC health tool, but it is only available for Windows 10 devices. Also, before proceeding, it is recommended to create a full backup in case you need to roll back to the previous version or recover your files if something goes wrong. In addition, you want to uninstall any applications that may conflict with the installation and disconnect all non-essential peripherals, such as printer, external hard drives, and anything that may conflict with installation as well. You can always reinstall and reconnect everything later after the upgrade. For more details, remember that you can check the video description. Okay, here's how to upgrade Windows 8.1 to Windows 11. First, we need to download the ISO file, and you can do this opening the download Windows 11 page. Unfortunately, we can't use the installation assistant or the media creation tool. The only option that we have is to download the ISO, which is at the bottom of the page. In here, just select Windows 11 and click the download button and then choose your language, in this case English, and then click the confirm button. This will create a download link to save that ISO to the computer. Just click it and it will start downloading. I already downloaded the ISO, so I'm going to cancel this file. Now open the folder where you downloaded the ISO file. And you can double click the file or you can right click on it and select the mount option to mount it to the system as if it was a native DVD drive on the computer. Then double click the setup file to begin the installation. To speed up the process, I'm just going to select this option to not get updates but you can skip this step and then click next. And here's the part where if your computer doesn't meet the minimum requirements, the setup will tell you what you need to do in order to pass the verification to continue with the upgrade. Then click the set button to agree to the terms. Once the setup is ready for the installation, you will see this page. And as you can see here, your files and apps will be kept but it is unclear if all your apps will be kept. So be ready to do some reinstallation if that's the case. But your file should be kept throughout the installation. But like I said in the beginning, it's always best to create a backup in case something goes wrong and you need to recover those files or roll back to the previous version. Once you're ready, click the install button. After the installation, you don't have to go through the out of box experience, but you will still have to choose your privacy settings before completing the installation. And here you just want to scroll down and make sure to turn on and off the privacy settings that you want, and then just click the set button. And that said, we have successfully upgraded from Windows 8.1 to Windows 11. And the best part is, is that that Windows 8.1 activation will carry over 
to Windows 11, so you don't need to purchase another license key. As you can see right here, during the upgrade, Windows 11 activated with no problems. One thing I do want to mention is that even though the applications will also carry over to the new installation, depending on the application, you might need to do some reinstallation. Uh, because for example, I'm using a virtual machine and in order for this installation to work properly, it needs the VMware tools, which carry over to the new installation, but were not working correctly. So I had to uninstall them and install them again, and everything's working fine. So there are two more things that you want to do to make sure that the installation works correctly. First, you want to right click the start menu and then open device manager and make sure that all the drivers are installed and they're working properly. So if you don't see any yellow signs or red marks, everything is working correctly. And then you want to open the settings app and then go to Windows update and make sure to download any available updates. And that's how you upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 8 or 8.1. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.